So today, I'm gonna go ahead and do a chit chat, get ready with me video. It's the first one I've ever done this way and I'm interested to see how it turns out. I think it'll be really fun. Um, I'm just gonna do a very basic, everyday uh, look today. And it's actually inspired by my friend. I went to lunch the other day and my friend Jessica said she owned no makeup from MAC. She's never bought anything from MAC. And I told her, well, the first thing you have to buy is a red lipstick. And she said that she had never really worn a red lipstick. She didn't really uh, know what to choose and what would be really nice for her. And I said, well, the next time we decide to go shopping, I'll go with you and we'll get you an amazing red lipstick. They have two beautiful red lipsticks, um, Ruby Woo, which is I'm going to be using today, and Lady Danger. And Lady Danger has a little bit more of an orange tone to it. And since she is very tan and complected, she has that Islander kind of skin, it would look beautiful with her. But I'm a pale girl, so I'm going to use MAC Ruby Woo, which I love. And it's a cult classic and everybody loves it. going to use is Revlon's uh, Whipped Foundation, and this is in the shade 200 Sand Beige. And I love this foundation, it's pretty full coverage, so I just get a little bit on my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, and we're gonna go ahead and work this in. Oh, I got a little too much, but that's okay. I hope everybody's summer's going really well. Um, my summer's been really fun, and just chilling, and making videos watching movies, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna go to the drive-in, I think, this weekend. Try to go to the drive-in. Maybe I'll dye my hair this weekend, too. It's kind of a grayish blonde right now, and I've been really wanting to go back to pink. I've been pink and purple and red and all kinds of different colors, and um, I think I wanna I don't know. I might want to stick with the gray, but I haven't decided yet, so we'll see what happens. But I can see this is a really full coverage foundation. Um, I love it for the summertime because I am I'm very dry, but um, in the summertime, um, in the summertime, I sweat a lot. You know, just one of those things, and um, foundation doesn't last very well on me, and. I can't use a powder foundation because I am so dry, so I really like this Revlon Whip foundation. It's really, really nice. And I've been using it for a couple years now. Foundations are really tricky. I, I have a hard complexion to really match because I'm neutral um, skin tone, but I have a lot of pink pigmentation in my skin, so my neck will look, and my, my neck will look pretty white here, and then my chest will be kind of red. And, and, it's such a bummer, but, you know, whatever. We just do what we do. All right, so now that I, I spent a really long time really buffing in that foundation, really making it flawless, and, you know, make sure that it's nice and smooth. I even go under the eyes and above the eyelids here. We kind of prime the eyelids. We're not doing too much with the eyes today. But today, its focus is really going to be on a red lip, and I think that's a really... Um, nice way to ease your way into wearing red lipstick. Um, a lot of people are a little weary of red lipstick and they really shouldn't. So that's what I tell them. I said if you want to start wearing red lipstick, because I think every woman should have a red lipstick, uh, start with just wearing red lipstick and do a very simple eye look and make the lips your focus. So after our foundation is done, the next thing I like to do is set my eyebrows. And I'm just going to be using this Brow Drama. I really love the Brow Drama. It's so easy to use and it just puts those brows in place. And I'm just going to run them through real quick. Very simple. Very, very simple. Okay, so now that I'm done with foundation, I'm just going to go ahead and set it with a translucent powder. And I love this Stay Matte Foundation by Rimmel. Start with my T-zone area. And my cheek. With the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and do some under eye concealing. I'm using a Sigma tapered highlighting brush with Bare Minerals Roll Rested. And get a little bit on the brush. A little of this goes a long way, so be careful with it. And I'm just 
gonna pat it in here first. I'm gonna use a little bit more and I'm gonna go above the eye here because we're not doing eyeshadow today. So I wanna go ahead and conceal my highly pigmented upper eyelid here. I have a fan blowing right behind me and it keeps blowing my hair out. A little bit on my forehead too. Since the under eye is really highlighted, I'm gonna take a little bit on my face. The next thing I'm good to do is I'm gonna bronze up my face. So I'm using the Becca Mineralized Bronzer and just a Real Techniques brush. Brush? And it's just a Real Techniques brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly bronze. This is a very pigmented bronzer. Bring it up on my forehead as well. Let's blend this guy out. And a little down here as well. Okay, so now that we've got a little more color to our lives, I'm going to go ahead and use this same bronzer and I'm going to put it in the crease of my eye. That way, we have a little something going on in there that's not exactly crazy flat. So, go ahead and take the bronzer, any bronzer you have. I'm just going to use the same bronzer that's here and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit to the crease here, just for some dimension. back and forth. Just kind of feel where your socket of your eye is. When you wipe your motions. Now that we've gone ahead and done the eyeshadow, the next thing I'm going to do is use a little brown eyeliner to give myself a little bit of the fuller lashes. So I'm just going to put it on the lash line right here. I'm going to smudge it out with my finger just to create a little bit more fullness in the lashes. So this is a Sigma brown eyeliner and I love it. It's just such a really nice one. It's really creamy. I got it in the resort palette a few years ago. So I'm just putting that in right along the eye here and I'm just using the, my ring finger just to blend it out. So it just creates a little bit of a, a little more thickness here at the lashes. Just do the same thing but on the other side. Because it doesn't matter, you don't have to be perfect or precise with this eyeliner since we're just blending it out with our fingers. So another nice little bonus about this makeup. It's so easy to do. And if you're just starting out in makeup and you don't want to wear a red lip, you can easily do the same makeup and you do like a pink lip or a neutral lip or, or just some tinted, you know, tinted lip balm or anything. Okay, so now that we have the eyeliner done, the next thing is mascara. And I cannot stress this enough, when you're having a very natural looking makeup day and you have kind of a bold lip going on, which is what we're going to be doing, lots and lots and lots of mascara. I love mascara. Mascara is heaven sent. So. I really love this last 
sensational babe let's see Maybelline yeah and I'm almost out of it I should throw this one away because it's pretty old but it's still kicking and I'm just can't get rid of it anymore. mascara on the top lashes are done. Now let's go ahead and add mascara to the bottom lashes. If I had to choose a makeup item I could never live without and that would be mascara. I would have to have mascara over anything else. I mean, look at the difference. I love it. So after mascara, we're gonna have and add some blush. I love this blush. This is by Physicians Formula. And it's just a really nice pink blush. It's perfect for the summertime. Pretty pigmented, so be careful with it. And I tend to go overboard with blush because I love blush too. Put a little bit on my nose. Great. Okay, and if you are feeling a little bit saucy and you decide that you want to highlight and get that kind of glowy look, go ahead and this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm using Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca. I'm going to just take a tiny swipe and I'm just going to place it right here. Kills me every time. So good. the show and that is Max Ruby Woo and I'm not gonna use a lip liner I'm just gonna go straight in and this is what you do so this is how I like to put lipstick on I use the pointed end here and I use that to almost kind of line my lips so I know where I'm going so I'm just barely put it here Now you can either do this two ways. You can do it how I've done it here, which is almost giving myself like a sweetheart line right here with the Cupid's bow. Now sometimes I don't like that and, and today I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it out. So you just go straight there across. Like that. I think it just seems more modern. I don't know why, but if it's not really precise and we don't have like a sharp, crisp line of eye gel liner, you know, we, we're trying to make this more of a modern look. And I think that we've really accomplished that by having a really flawless face, glowy cheeks, slight blush, a lovely, like, bronze face, lots of lashes and a really pretty bold lip. Another trick too, after you're done putting on your lipstick, some people worry about lipstick getting on your teeth, so you just take your clean finger and you go, and it just takes the lipstick that would have been on your teeth and now is on your finger. I hope you like it. Uh, it's a very basic, everyday red lip with a nice neutral eye, so we'll go ahead and take some time to Check it out. I hope you liked it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. 
Um, if you have any makeup requests, I would love to do them for you. I've been having so much fun making videos lately. I hope that this is helpful, and if you're going into Mac for the very first time, you're not really sure what you want to get, I definitely, definitely suggest Max Ruby Woo. It's a cult classic. You are going to get so much use out of it. It's a beautiful red lipstick. It's Perfect. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this tutorial. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.